morning. <laughs> morning. From Stansted Good Airport. Thank yeah. You. Morning from Stansted Airport. We're here at the Radisson Blue car park. Stansted, of course. We've just parked up. Um, and we're about to head in. Well, it's called his dry shampooed her hair. Why are you saying it like that for? <laughs> Wants to drop out with her hair. So we can go in through security and chill out before we board our plane to Edinburgh. So come with us for a day in Edinburgh in literally one day. Literally. Flying and landing in the same day. So yeah, flight's at 8.30, stands to Ryanair. And we're gonna land, it says approximately 10 to 10, but flight's only about 50 minutes from what we see. This is an hour and 20 on the line. So we should be there before, about, probably I'd say about just after half nine, I reckon I'm hoping. That'd be really good. And then the plan is to literally get a bus from there and then straight to the city where we're going to literally walk around the whole day. And you are going to come with us. Yes. Come on, come on. by the Prosecco bar sign. Of course you did. <laughs> anyway, got the Prosecco. With the runway views. Spoons. Yay! With the runway views. Yeah, come on. We found a table. <laughs> what? We've got ages to go now. We have, we just relax. <laughs> so we're sitting in spoons with runway views. And we're now going to order our delicious drinks and a yum yum breakfast, aren't we? Mm. Breakfast, burger, curry, who knows? <laughs> definitely breakfast. It's got to yeah, be breakfast, right? Breakfast. Let's do it. We've ordered. I've gone for a traditional breakfast. Brad's gone for a large. And I've gone for a glass of cocoa. And Brad's gone for a coffee. And an orange juice. And an orange juice as well. Yeah, got to be sensible. Nice. Treat yourself. Of course. So that was £42 for two breakfasts. Two breakfasts. Oh, it feels like a fine establishment this I one. I know, things. cool. It's because it's <laughs> in an airport, isn't it? But yeah, we've um, got good views. And yeah. my, my sad, we've literally just gone through the entire airport in 20 minutes. We have. We felt like fast track, but we're not fast track. Yeah. There's li literally no point in buying fast track. But okay, it, there might be a time and a place for it. But that's like our only first experience of not having fast track. So, but... We literally went through, didn't even check in, because checked, on, checked in online, mm -hmm. and then we got to the security gates, went through security, there was what, a, a little bit of a queue, but that went down really super fast, because there were yeah. loads of things to go to, and we come out 20 minutes later, oh, Brad got frisked, oh, they yeah. asked him to come to the side. I think he fancied me, to be honest. <laughs> Don't and then we literally out and then walked through the whole of duty free. We didn't get anything duty free because obviously we're on a day flight, so we can't put it anywhere and we can't have liquids, liquids above 100 mils, so that's fine. And then we're here. Yeah, so it's now 5.51. We parked up just before 5 o'clock. Courtney took time to do a makeup and her hair, so it was 10 minutes. She said 5, it took 10. So yeah, so we're in, let's say, 40 minutes. We, we walked the 8 minute walk from the car park mm -hmm. to the terminal, checked in, 
through security and we did check in. We checked. Oh, well, you don't mean check in? Is it scan through the gate? You know yeah. what I mean. Scan through the gate. Don't be so awkward all the time. Well, come on, we've got to tell our viewers <laughs> the truth. So yeah, get a flight at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's brilliant. I've got to just say, this always happens to us in spoons. We always get our food before our drinks. This is standard. Our drinks haven't even come yet, but our breakfast came about 30 seconds ago. Here we go. I would love it. Seven to seven. Okay, we've just been notified of our gate. Gate eighty-eight. Gate eighty-eight. Gate eighty-eight. All rhymes. So yeah, gate we're now going to make our way to the gate. I'm not sure whereabouts that gate is, but we're going to head there and find out. Yeah. We reckon it's going to be over there somewhere. That's my feeling. Oh, I think Courtney says over there. She no, means. the one straight ahead. Oh, straight ahead. That's what I said. But onto the left. Yeah. So we'll see. So we're going to make our way to the gate as a plane comes in to land. And um, well, yeah, we'll see you at the terminal. Bye. Well, not the terminal, the gate. Oh bless you. Oh bless you. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Just that one. Sorry, baby. Literally just over this and say we've been sitting in the club bar for last day, haven't it? We yeah, actually got it right. We're going to go to the gate. Where... To We're going to go to the gate. What were you guessed? Are we sitting in Wilkes Boots? I know they don't buck at them when you're driving for your mum's sitting in How excited are you? To the gate, let's go. No, we're at the gate, we're not going to board. Sorry, it's the plane, let's go. Come on. Very, very wet and windy in England. It's alright. It's going to be sunny and cloudy in Edinburgh. Woo -woo -woo.
follow Edinburgh Airport, can't believe how nice it is as well and there's a nice little sign saying Edinburgh Airport as you walk out and literally the bus we need is all the way in there so this Airlink 100 takes you straight into the that, that famous bridge in the old town straight in the city centre so £8 exactly. for return as well for yes. open return oh yeah look single 550 open return £8 oh, no, it's right there not mapped so it's perfect oh wow Check these out guys, you get a proper headrest. <laughs> oh my god, it's not like um, first buses back in Suffolk, is it? It's the this beginning. is a proper Edinburgh Air Link. So it didn't take out yeah. the first one, he said? Yeah, it didn't take out. So £16, both of us go to in the city. In the city. Yeah, open return, so we just come back with that. Right, okay, amazing. Can we keep that? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep that. Woohoo, we're on our way to Edinburgh. Right. and you're greeted with the sound of bagpipes <laughs> oh are. look i need to go up to the top there don't you think and look down and just take a picture of that yes <gasps> all right let's go to scott's monument first oh my god this is so cool i feel really emotional <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit stupid <laughs> she's always emotional isn't she oh what do i cry everything yeah. Yeah. who else is like that please tell me someone else is like that yeah. the rest of the day. No. I've got some whiskey house. <laughs> like a secret passage. I feel like we're in Harry Potter. Feels like we're in Diagon Alley.
brass up to a picture of me. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. What? Ah. Uh, the hang of bag, cut up a found it but it's pretty hard to find we found it hello so we found it bit of a description about it because i, I couldn't really feel much there's like tall guides taking loads of bunches of people around and it was all just a little bit too busy of course if i can add a picture in here. yeah see if, brad add a picture in um but it, it really is really cool there's a bit of an eerie feel around it mm. isn't there but obviously it's the name of the dark lord it is the dark <laughs> lord but um yeah the actual place itself is pretty cool so good to see highly highly recommend if you're here mm. to come and see if you are a harry potter fan coffee steps are steep right hang on i need to concentrate <laughs> they're well steep um and the whole graveyard itself, Greyfriars, it's just so magical. It literally feels like you're walking through a Harry Potter movie right now because you've got like all the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Scottish buildings around you. And it's so nice hearing a Scottish accent. And um, if you don't know that my, my half of my family is Scottish, so oh, I love hearing the accent. So good. So yeah, we're going to carry on our walk now. We're going to go to Victoria Street, which is one of the most beautiful streets in Edinburgh, part of the old town. And we're gonna try and find a place where we can sit and just have a croissant, co croissant? Why can't I talk today? A coffee on a cross croissant or a pan of chocolat. So let's see what we find. Look at that beautiful castle. Westburg, that's it. That's what we want. Yes, you're right. Right there. Yeah. This is a bit. We're starting on West Bow. West Bow, Victoria Street. Literally, Greyfriars was there. And then we're here. So, so close. Biddy's Mulligans. Maggie Dixon's. Oh, it's proper cool. Scottish sweets and treats. The mutts nuts. Yeah. Oh yeah. The mutts nuts. The mutts nuts. <laughs> oh. Well, let's see what we can find, my violin, shall we? Yeah. Point cob roasts. <laughs> <laughs> We've only gonna got ourselves some more gross rolls. Look at these. Mm. <laughs> oh, they look so good. Oh, Love that. so it's fifteen pounds for these two, but mm. these are the middle size ones. So I don't think that's that bad because the, the rolls are actually really full. You can't pull the GoPro, okay. babe, just on my wrist. Let me mm. let me just take that off there. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is the sea corn eat the crackling. 
Cracklins. He loves what? a Cracklin. I love a Cracklin. My lips are still over. Have you got some Cracklin? I said Cracklin. You're on top. On top of the bread. On top of the bread? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My Strogan. So good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there we go. From Oink Pop Roast. The pink building just in front of us. Mm. Cool, yeah, recommended. How are you finding Edinburgh Courts? Amazing. Stunning, isn't it? Stuggling in the ears, isn't it? What is it with him and saying the wrong things? <laughs> Although we both do, actually. It's stuggling in the ears, isn't it? Stuggling in the ears, isn't it? So, yeah. going up the steps. Brad zooming off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just taking my sweet time. Because <laughs> I'm back in Paris again. Yeah. We're just taking a moment to sit down and just enjoy the views mm. in this little square. Let me just pan you around so you can see. It's lovely. We're right under a nice big tree as well. And in a minute, we're going to walk over there because over there is Bennell Steps. If you've watched One Day on Netflix, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, I just... I can't relate to this, folks. Them steps. <laughs> They're just, um, what's the word? They're also how iconic. Are they iconic? I don't know. They're just really popular steps in Edinburgh. And I want to walk up and down and thinking of the song that goes um, in Harry Potter. What happens it going? If it's in Harry Potter and I want to say... <laughs> One day. 
I want to say the what's it called? What's the, the part one, part two? Deathly Hallows Part Deathly One. Deathly Hallows Part One. When they're looking for the Horcruxes, mm. and him and Hermione are dancing in the tent. That music. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. That's it. But the castle was lovely. It just because they were building a structure, you couldn't really see. You couldn't really work your way around the castle, could you? No, they built like a big stadium sort of thing. It's like a big event that's coming up. Not too sure what. Mm. But yeah, we'll see. But it's sort of amazing to see it. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing it as well. Gotcha. So we've just done Victoria Street, had our hog roast, mm -hmm. then walked up the Royal Mile, then went Tiny to the. Tiny smidgen of the Royal Mile, where the guys playing the bagpipes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to Castle, then we just walked down about three massive big steps, no flights of steps. Yep. And now we're going to walk up the Venom steps. And then back down again, and then, then we're going down. all the way over there, about 20 minutes away, to see Dean Village. Just wants to see, check it out. I do. I just think it's going to be beautiful. And then from there, back into the city, and whatever we do from that. Yeah. To then make our way back to the bus for the airport, or back there for about half six to seven o'clock. Happy days. Boom. Boom. So we're in. What's the place called? Uh, the Beehive Inn. The Beehive Inn. Do so you want a lager shandy? Yep. I'll go for a large shandy. Cordy's probably going to go for a cider or a wine. I don't know yet. I'm going to let the bell We're having a drink, drink with the view of the castle. Oh, so we're going to have a quick stop, pit stop. Then move on to the steps. From the steps we're going to go to Dean's Village. And from Dean's Village back into the main heart of the city. And then from the city we're going to do roaming around before we head back to the airport. So yeah, action packed day. Stay tuned. The goods have been acquired. Yeah. That was only nine pounds. Gin, lager, shandy, and corn. And nine pounds. In the centre of Edinburgh as well. It's pretty good. I thought that's quite good for a round. Very good. These are the steps. The oh wow, yeah. Yes. Apparently, you can get a gorgeous picture from the top. Okay. From the top of this bit here. Yeah. Steps. Look at the view. It's oh, gorgeous. I think it's the lamppost in the middle that does it for me. Yeah. It's the lamppost, the steps, orange buildings, and the castle. Definitely. Isn't it? It's very old. <laughs> old, you old, you rackety rackety. Old. Old. It just this, looks this, this defines Edinburgh, I think. Yeah. This picture. Well, worth it, though. Definitely. Are you happy we came up them? Of course, are you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Makes me want to watch one day again. <laughs> yes, it does. Can you just name a bit of you? Name an actual bit of you. Oh, wait, there isn't one. Oh, well, there is one. Oh, yeah, actually, okay. <laughs> well, once you see my head, it's massive. Are you knocking me out with it, to be fair, babe? <laughs> Don't even need to move. <laughs> right, onwards. Let's go onward to Dean Village. We're 20 minutes away. Okay, so there's 20 minutes, but that's all right. Well, it's very different to here. About two o'clock. Last night's time. 
here. We might be hungry again or we might just want to sit and chill yeah, for a bit. There. Okay. Keep yeah, the world's our oyster. Whoa! Isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> How many key safes do you want on one lamp post then? Well they're all these flats, what? so I'm not surprised. Look how they're just <laughs> How many key safes do you want? That's hilarious. I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> Down the road. Is it shut off? Oh no, it is a road. Oh. We haven't even entered Dean Village properly yet, but from what I can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's giving Cotswold vibes. Yeah, very Cotswold esque, <laughs> isn't it? Very, very Cotswold esque. Very autumnal as well. The brickwork's lovely. It looks chilly, and it is quite chilly because we're walking around all day. You know, it's warming us up. It is. Yeah. I'm glad I brought a cardi because I was only just going to wear this white shirt today. But we went into HM the other day in Cambridge, my first day. And we picked up this cardi. I'm so glad I did because it's cashmere as well. It's really, really, really soft. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Love this house already. Mmm. How cool is that?
Johnny Walker. Nice. Oh, nice little gander in Johnny Walker, didn't we? Yeah. Loved it. Got to. When in Scotland, right? When in Scotland, right? I was about to say when in Rome. Should we go to the Royal Bank of Scotland whilst we're here? Nah, you're right. <laughs> nah, you're right. Nah, you're right. Oh, Brad's favourite place coming up. Tesco. <laughs> Brad's favourite place coming up. Oh, us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jollies, whatever it's no. called. No, no, Mackie D's. So we've basically done one whole circle of Edinburgh. Yeah, we have. Well, not the whole of Edinburgh, of course. But we started where we're now going to walk back down to. So we've done like a big loop mm. of seeing all the things we want to see. Now the last sort of three to four hours are just going to be chilling, enjoying the vibe seen things again if you want to go and see them again yeah you sit down somewhere and grab like oh, oh pret yes <laughs> like um i don't know like a little coffee and a croissant or something like that so yeah that is the plan will we make it brad will we make these lights yeah go green man Whoa. oh no I was literally just walking down the steps just now and this old woman went out of her way to barge past me to try and get to this table. Like actually barge past me and yeah. tripped herself up. Wow, really? Why would you? I said, excuse me, I'm now walking that way. Excuse me, like don't barge past me. How rude is that? And she, was, she wasn't from the UK. So it was quite obvious. But I thought, do you know what? That is so rude. Anyway, we've acquired a table and got a lovely view. So I want to show you. Oh, Brad's only gone and done a look at that view, babe. That was a castle. Sticky coffee biscuit. And I've cut off Earl Grey, I guess. Yep. Oh, delicious. This is worth being barged out of the way for. Yeah, she was right behind me when she called me. Was she? Yeah. Don't jog it off the table. Brad wanted to check for shoes. Not bad. Not bad. Fifty five quid. Bless him, he gets so tempted by shoes. He just gets so tempted. I really like that. They were the Alexander the Queens. Really? Very nice. I mean, they're, they're okay. Oh, bless him. See, now I bought a pair of sketches the other day. Now Brad can't just get enough of them. Pick up my sketches. Well, By the way, I much must just say... Much other shoes are much fur, but they're much look right. May I just say, I've been walking around in these all day in Edinburgh. Bearing in mind how hilly Edinburgh is, 
and cobbly and you're up and down steps all the time my feet are still as comfortable this today or this afternoon as what they felt like this morning when i put them on my feet don't even hurt a bit so sketches you're doing a great job we couldn't help ourselves i mean look at all the nasties <laughs> all the shortbread oh yeah vibes oh yeah So just to sum up, Brad didn't actually buy any shoes. He liked the look of the sketches. You love the postcards. I do. How nice is the vibe in the shop? Brad's feet are killing us. Well, that's not really our feet, it's our legs. Our feet are fine. But sorry. We're really trying to push ourselves to do the last couple of things we want to do in Edinburgh. But we're like, oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh my god, look at them steps. Feel Brad. Absolutely fine. Shut up. Fine. You were saying back was like a minute ago. It's alright at the minute. I like you, don't worry about it. Maybe I'm just saying. <laughs> Christ. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. I must admit though, I never already said it, but oh my god, these sketches are amazing. My toes are starting to hurt a bit now. Are they? Yes. Oh, I know why. It's a good chance I've got sketches, mate. I have. perch on a rock. Let me show you. <laughs> so yeah, Nelson's Monument. It's so nice, isn't it? And what's the other thing called? So this is, is it Calton? Calton? Colton Hill? So Colton Hill, and that's Colton the National Hill. Monument of Scotland. Yeah. It's pretty good, isn't it? We're sort of in Athens right now. Yeah. It's oh, chillier. But no, it is the National Monument of Scotland. Yeah. Down there in front of us, along the road, the Princess Street. Yeah. Um, you can just see like all the brake lights and it looks really cool, like city vibes. Brad's going to try and get a picture. A picture. That looks good though. With a proper good camera. But yes, yeah, it's, it's really, really nice up here. <laughs> I won't moan about the steps, guys. It's only because we've been walking all day. Oh my god, is that Arthur's seat? No way we were not there today, was there? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
To be fair, I think we're doing really well. We haven't stopped oh. walking all day. And we've been up since three o'clock this morning. <laughs> so we've been up since three, walking all day, walking in Edinburgh, obviously at the airport. You walk around the airport, aren't you? Through security, all that lot. So we haven't actually stopped except from sitting on the plane, sitting on the bus and sitting down to enjoy a cup of coffee. But apart from that, we've been walking. So I think we've done well over 20,000 steps so far, just because we haven't stopped. Would you say? Well What's over 20,000 steps so far. Let's see, shall we? Have you been, yeah, but I, you've been tracking, you missed a bit of time, didn't you? Oh no, that's still- 16,000. Oh, so that means I've done about 19, 20. Because every time yeah, you, you know, do- You've done about 17 in the pit. No, because every time I take hey, a lot more know, steps than check you. Check your phone, guarantee it's about 17, latter end of 17,000. I'll check it in a bit. I'll check it in a bit. But once we just gather our breath and enjoy the view, we're just going to take you up there. The National Monument of Scotland. And Braz toes are hurting because, <laughs> guess what guys, he hasn't got sketchers. <laughs> That's like me. He's arrested. We're now going to go up to stand on this beautiful little thing. I say little, it's obviously not little. Oh wow. Oh my god. Brad. How cool is that? Wow. That's amazing. Wow. The least tallest is that. Yeah. Plus, oh, my little Brad really is reaching this peak. <laughs> He's really reaching the peak, aren't you, babe? I'm at the peak. Pai, you also don't have a pair of police going to me. One thing we did just notice is that the our cabin crew lady is there <laughs> taking pictures of um. Her and her friend outside the monument, I think. We've seen like five people have seen an RE plane. Yeah, we have. We've seen quite a few actually. So we've come back to the other little bit here. We're going to have a little. Oh, big step. Oh, I want to go up to the. What? Hibs. Hibs. Hibernian football grub. Ah, football grub. <laughs> It is Hibs. Hibs are beautiful crap. Oh. oh, stop it. Right, okay. Cool, I was like the Cairngorm again. If you haven't watched it, go and check out our Abbey Moor camping trip. We climbed the Cairngorm. It's a great, great little video. Oh, nice view. This is the other viewpoint you get. You really can see for miles up here. I don't forget this is Colton Hill. Calton, Colton. Don't know how to say it, but you know what I mean. Google, Google map it. That's where we are. Wow. Great views of the city. Here we come. Like that, it's time to make our descent back down. We made it. Yep. We did it. Just. Carlton Hill, the last little. What's it called? The last little... Last little... Uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah, but there's a saying for it, isn't there? There's a saying. It's a, the last... 
the last little... It's the last dandelion. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but that'll do. Do you love people watching? We do. It's funny yep. how people just I could work watch differently. People all day. Yeah, so entertaining. Give me a chair outside, a bit of warm weather, and several drinks and snacks. I'll be there all day. Mm. But all of them. What are they up to? Oh, well, how funny is that dress sense? Yeah. Love it. I must admit, throughout the whole, this is the first time I have felt cold. It is chilly actually. Yeah, my hands are. Must have been stopped cold. after walking again. Yeah. Our blood pressure today has been like up, down, up, <laughs> down, up, <laughs> down. But, you know, it is Scotland. <laughs> and it yep. is Edinburgh. And it is only, what, 12 degrees? We've been used to tw 20s at the minute, so we have got a nice little spot with our drinks. Let me show ya. Look, up there. We're actually on the road where our bus stops, up just up there. Yeah, and we just stopped here with a nice little view <coughs> of those buildings to enjoy our drink before we head back to the airport because we decided that our legs, our legs are done, our backs are done. It's one of my feet, not my legs. My legs are fine. Oh, my feet are fine because I've got your sketches on. It's the sole of my feet. You see, mine are alright. Well, my legs are always fine when I do walking, it's just always my feet. Yeah. But anyway. I think we've done pretty well. Very well. Pretty, pretty well. And if we're hungry, we might grab something at the airport. If not, we might get something on the way home in Suffolk. Just let's just see what happens. We're just going to go the flow. But for now, our main aim is to sit here, soak up the last of the Edinburgh atmosphere with our drinks before we head to the back to the airport. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's Brad's turn for the window seat. Oh. Boring. <laughs> Heading back to the booze. To the booze. To the booze. So we need the 100. This is just up the road. Just up the road. Oh, I've got rain up in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, we're on the bus. Quite dark back here. It is quite dark. Yeah, on the bus back to the airport. Running in the video vlog, didn't I? Yeah. Why do I cry at anything? I don't leave any breath. <laughs> I just love it. It's, just, it's just been a great day. And guys, I've got to say, for 60 quid for me and Brad to get here and back, you can't get a train to London for that. It's ridiculous. So, for a flight, and we've done everything we wanted to do in Edinburgh, we haven't like rushed it at all, we haven't skimped time. I would 100% recommend a day flight to Edinburgh to come and see the sights because it's been amazing, hasn't it? Right, it's stopping now. So get booked on Ryanair, book it early enough, and you'll get your cheap flights 
Definitely right there. 30 pounds each and that was for random seats but we did just pay 30 quid just to pay for seats together in the end but 30 quid an extra 30 quid nothing so there we go we're pleased so we're now heading back to the airport i'm gonna chill there for the next three hours before we get the before we board the flight the bus is broke he can't get it to move, so he's trying everything in his power to get to move. <laughs> <laughs> the bus is broken. We're broken. We're stuck in Edinburgh. There's the driver. He's very content with his vape in his mouth. Very content. He's like, I'm just going to drive X up. All right, him. Perfect. We'll see you in about five hours. <laughs> Take off. Could take off in Edinburgh City Centre. <laughs> How funny is this? You want a broken bus? <laughs> always us, huh? huh? There's always something with us, isn't there? Always, yeah. A little bit of drama. Coming back from France, we was in the wrong lane, we ended up in the lorry area. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my god, we have to be escorted out. We yep. need to go watch our European road trip vlogs. The last guys. day. Fine. They are funny. Well, we're still here. I'm not sure if he's fixed it. Oh. oh. Here we go. Ooh. I don't know, we're risking stopping to let more passengers on. Are we? No, he's not. He's telling them no, just in case. I think. Oh, no. Oh, he's getting on. He's risking it. Oh, he's risking it. Let's see. Should be going again. Good news, we're moving again. We are back on the road. Back on the road. No, we haven't. Oh man. Never mind. Yeah, I got a picture of it. He's being bad checked now. So on the way here from Stanford, he got um, what's the word? Frisked down, and now his bag's being checked in Edinburgh. <laughs> oh, look at the little his little bag. <laughs> So that brings us to a close to our day in the life of Edinburgh. Oh, we hope you've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been lovely today, actually, isn't it? It's been, been had really nice. such a nice day today. It's been super busy. Yes. Um, walking around. It's been nice to have come here a bit earlier and relax our feet for a little while. Yeah, it has. Um, so. Thank God we did come here a little bit earlier. I'm yeah. just going to quickly pan you around. Look at this. 
There's not a person in sight. It's lovely. <laughs> but back where we were, where you saw the footage of the plane coming to land and taking off, it's heaving down there, and probably yeah. still is. So yeah, we went up this bend because I had a feeling we were going to be bored in this end of the airport, and we are, and there's literally nobody else here. It's lovely. Excellent. We've only just Excellent. had our gate number called and it's gate 18. We so are. what we thought we'd just hop on and do is end it here, guys, because what we we're going to do is get on the plane, probably have a little nap, get off, and by the time we get off, it'll be pitch black anyway. So, is this us? Thank you for reading EasyJet service. EJ, you're so unique for you. So, oh, I hope you can hear me. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to drive back home and go to sleep because we are that good. We've just been up since 3 o'clock this morning. Yep, so thanks for watching and we shall hope that you enjoyed the video. Yeah, if you do, or if you did, give us a thumbs up, you know all the rigmarole. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, um, it really means a lot to us. And we hopefully will bring you more days in the lives of very, very soon. Absolutely. But we did hope you enjoyed our Edinburgh vlog. Yeah. We've had a wonderful day. Been and don't forget, day. if you get cheap flights, book them. Yeah, do if you it. are able to book them, book them because it's been a great experience. Coming through um, Stansted, coming through Edinburgh was plain sailing. We checked it online, it was amazing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we high, would highly recommend it. Absolutely. Also, what else were we going to say? Oh, buses. buses. Edinburgh connections from the airport to the city it was so, so easy. That quick bus was just 25 oh, yeah. Half minutes. An hour. That was great, wasn't like it? Five stops and we were there. Yeah. Perfect. And ten, what was it, ten? Eight pound? Eight pound each. Yeah. For a return ticket, so you can't really go wrong. So that was great. So we'll put, I'll put that link to that bus in below. Mm -hmm. And I'll also put all the locations where we visited today below, so you can, if you want to do the sort of similar route to what we did, then do it. Yeah. So yeah. But again, thanks for watching. Tune in for the next one whenever we do the next one, and I'll speak to you then. We'll speak to you soon, guys. Laters. Bye. Bye. Radical signing out.